So what's up everybody, my name is Amshu Sass and today I'm going to show you how to take out this background on Photoshop CS6 and then put a little art catchy background. So let's go. Now this is a picture of Tasha. She's a big brother and Naja celebrity and for absolute beginners I'm going, going to be taking it very low and so that you can get every step in the way I'm going to be using the pen tool now this is the reason the pen tool is very definite and it helps you do what you want to do like I can cut out an edge like this and it's very very sharp you know pen tool just gives you this control over what you want to do like you see I'm going around now it's because I want to go and you can press um, you can just drag your tool to where you want it while you are pressing your left click and then you can bend it the way you want it press enter to take it back so without wasting much time this is not to talk about the pen tool it's just basically to talk about taking out the background and having a better picture now i'm just going to start cutting it right away and i'm going to be using the pen tool with ctrl and click and i will just cut out the edges now zoomed in and then i can just cut it out then you can just as well just cut it out the reason i'm using cs6 is because the end product i want to have is an oil painted hair so cs6 is the last that gives it this very flexible flare to be able to do that but that's that's by the wayside i'm just going to cut out the hair to have a very clear image like this you, sh you can get it on twitter i got this from twitter you know I, d I don't know how twitter manages to preserve their pictures and have a very nice very very nice picture i think it's just better than most social media for me so i'm just going to cut out this hair you can check out tutorials on how to use the pen tool i think it will help you and the pen tool is not what you just rush now there's the there's the quick selection tool the quick selection tool you can just quick select all these places but see it's not it's not sharp the edges are not sharp it's blurry you see it's encroaching into the background there's the magic wand tool the magic wand tool ctrl d you can undo magic wand tool it does it just selects a particular point of the picture so we don't have a complete control over it hence i use the pen tool now using the pen tool is a lot easier and it's flexible i'm just going to undo what i've done and then go back straight up to the pen tool so i'm just going to cut out the hair i don't want the video to be a long one so without wasting much time i'm just going to fast forward it a little to when i'm done cutting the hair and then i'll add the background so that you see what we do Okay, so now we have cut out the background this is what we have i can come here and take out this background this background is a normal gradient background and then add it now there's a little tip i need to give you when making art background what we are doing is not really art where you draw it where you draw something with your hand what we are doing is more like a photo manipulation where you turn a picture to, to an artwork by just photo manipulating it so i've added the background behind this one thing you need to learn still when you are making art art covers artworks when you are trying to edit you just need to make the picture blend with what you're doing i'm going to turn this background this way because the light is coming from up here so it's going to blend but we notice these parts we are going to feather these parts and it's very funny but i've been editing photoshop for a very long time and i just learned how to do it a few days ago so i'm just going to duplicate this i'll hide this layer underneath and then i would control and i'll click this it will select it and while it's selected i would invert to invert is ctrl shift i so i've inverted and then i would come to feather i'll choose a value probably three press ok then i'll delete it and you can see the edge when i'm deleting it it's actually deleting a little bit i delete the edge you can notice something here see it's just deleting the edges and then i would notice that to a large extent so this is what i had before this is what i have now you see it has blood that you can just continue doing it to get something better done but what i want to do now is this we want to make it look like an artwork an art background i learned how to make an art background probably a year back and i've been, and I've been making art backgrounds for a long time so the next thing i want to do is just to darken this place so probably just choose a dark brush i just want to depict where the light is coming from you know something like that i just want to give her the feel that i want you know something like this and this is not going to be a bad background view that light is coming from this part of the hair and it's falling on this part of her face so 